about to go by a bunch of crossings very soon, so get ready for whistles. This is mostly under New Haven. This is around the area that I grew up as a kid. The marshlands of North Haven. Really nice ride, beautiful scenery. When I was nine or ten, I would beg my parents to take me to these crossings.
this is the Divine Street Railroad crossing. You see a lot of train fans out here, or rail fans as we like to call them. I used to go to that crossing countless times as a kid, as a teenager too. Took many photos there, which I'll post at the end of this video. was another overpass for Interstate 91. A lot of factories around here. Connecticut's kind of a manufacturing town. A lot of chemical companies, plants, plastics, steel, all that kind of stuff. Sikorsky or Lockheed Martin. approaching the main drag in Wallingford. Some outlet stores, malls, typical suburban American. Wallingford's got kind of an old American Norman Rockwell style vibe going on. Wallingford has a very old fashioned look to it much like a Norman Rockwell painting or um, something else. It's very American, Americana-ish. Not a bad town, just not a lot to do there. Although they do have a very good library, I will say. Crossing. There you go, one of the most dangerous crossings at one point. I don't remember if it was that one or in the one up in Meriden, but another rail fan hotspot, if you will. Colony Lanes. That was an old bowling lane. I don't know if it's still open, but we went there as kids, teenagers. We're riding parallel to the main road in Wallingford, Route 5, which I've driven down hundreds of times as a teenager. Oh, look, they have codfish. Flag 
flag coming up. There we go. Always see that American flag. America. There is the old Wallingford train station, which until about two years ago was pretty active. We're pulling into the new Wallingford station, which is pretty impressive. It's a much needed upgrade. Thank you.